Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I've had a number of questions um, for those of you out there who do diamond painting. I have mentioned a number of times glue dots and if you watch any other channel or you belong to diamond painting groups over on Facebook, you have probably heard a ton of people say that they use glue dots rather than wax or putty or any of the other gazillion adhesives or whatever you want to call it that you use in the tip of your drill pens. A lot of people are questioning, how do I use these? How do I get them into the tip? Mine keeps coming out. Things like that. Um, I have two different types sizes, I should say, of glue dots here. The easiest one to use is the micro dots. Mini dots work also, and I will show you how to use both of these. The micro dots are smaller. They are 1 8 inch or 3 millimeters, so they're very, very teeny. These mini dots so the micro has this purse, this, you know, hand purse on there. The mini has these fish on here, and that's kind of how you can distinguish them. The mini dots are 3 sixteenths of an inch or 5 millimeters. So there are 300 dots that you get with the minis, 325 dots with the micro. So you get a little bit more with the micro, but you typically use a few um, each time when you load your drill pin. Whereas with the minis, typically one's going to do it. Um, but they're a, yeah, maybe a little bit trickier to load. That's why the micros work so well. My box is a little beat up because I've been using this for a long time. But one box of these will last you forever. <laughs> um, I still have quite a few on this roll and like I said I've been using these a long long time. Haven't used these as much so you'll see the roll is bigger in that box. But I have a number of drill pens over here. These I already have loaded up with glue dots. Okay so I have some pens over here also that are completely empty that I have not filled yet. Now I do not use, oh that one I have putty in yet, hmm. I do not use multi-placers. From what I see the vast majority of people will use glue dots in the single placers and then use wax um, in their multi-placers. Glue dots are a little bit harder to get into your multi-placers and just... I know some people do use the glue dots in their multi-placers, especially the smaller ones. Um, but typically I see them using wax in the multi-placers. Again, I don't use multi-placers. I want to try them though. I'm going to try them again. <laughs> I've tried it twice and I spend more time trying to straighten out my drills than, than actually placing them. So they say it takes practice like anything else. So, all right, I'm going to use this drill pen. It just has the regular brass tip in it. Now you can get stainless steel tips. Some of my drill pens, I do have stainless steel because the brass is softer. If you are heavier handed um, and you're pressing harder, these can start to flatten out um, and you have to replace them. You can just use a tweezers and they pull out um, and then you can replace with the stainless steel. There were very few places a while ago that you could buy these. Um, I bought some from Forever is it called Forever Tips over on Etsy? But they're extremely expensive. Um, they come from Australia. Um, but now you, you can find a ton of them on Etsy. And they're also on Amazon. So they may not be quite as well made as these uh, Forever Tips. But yeah, they, they will work. Um, 
but again, I have I have the silver tips in these. Um, some of them I do just have the brass. I don't have a metal tip, a stainless steel tip in all my pens. But anyhow, let's get on with it. So I am going to show you first with the micro glue dots. And this is empty up to here. So I'll just tear it off. So I'm going to zoom you in. So you can see it a little bit better. So can you see these dots on here? You can see how teeny these are but they work really good. They're the perfect size to get into this small tip. I see some people that take their tweezers and take them off and put them on here. I see some people that take them off and roll them in their fingers. To me, they're harder to get into the tip that way. So what I do, I scoop them up and I roll my pen as I'm scooping it up. And once it's in there, I know some people, again, take their tweezers to shove it down in there. I just use my finger. <laughs> and I twirl it around, and I keep pushing. Now, again, one is not going to be enough. Not with these teeny tiny micros. So, again, I'll take it, and I'll roll it on. Push it down in again. Now, when you first fill a pen, two may be enough. I usually put three in right away. <laughs> so again, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Push it down in here. So it does not take long to do. Sometimes with some of them putties and stuff or the waxes, you got to scrape on that hard wax and stuff. It just doesn't work here. And I think it's due to the cold climate here. That wax gets so hard. I, I know some of the waxes, they say to put it like inside your bra <laughs> to keep it warm. Um, some people put it underneath their leg while they're diamond painting. But this stuff lasts forever. I am on my second large diamond painting with this pen. I have not replaced this, the glue dots yet in here, nor added to it. And I have three in there. Um, so yeah, like I said, they last forever. So I have three of them in here. Now, the one thing that people find is, okay, I got it in there, but when I try to do my diamond painting, it is so sticky. It doesn't let go of my drill onto the canvas. You know, it, it doesn't stay stuck down. And that's because when you first load them, they are, they're too sticky. The easiest thing to do, you got to get it a little bit dirty <laughs> so that it isn't so sticky. I dab it on my shirt. Some people, if you have lotion on your hands, you can put it on your hands a little bit just so it isn't quite so sticky. Okay, so I want to, I just did a diamond painting in chat with this Christmas wreath. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out my tray and I'm going to show you Hopefully it won't be too sticky that I tapped it enough. So I'll just get a few of the white drills out. Now you've seen how fast that was. Picks up very easily. And I have my <laughs> plastic there. It won't stick that way, will it? And you're off. If you do only put two in, in the beginning, you may find that as you place a few, again, especially if you press hard, that it will eventually push the glue dot down into the tip. And at that point in time, then you can add another one. But as you work with this now, um, the glue dot eventually shifts in here, and I got hair on here. Must add hair on my uh, 
<laughs> on my uh, shirt. Sometimes the glue dot will start sticking out from the tip. Again, what I do is I just go around and I shove it back in. <laughs> Very easy. But yeah, this is working really good. Goes really fast. So it's easy to do, but it lasts forever. So this drill pen now is ready to go. And I'll be able to use this for a long, long time. Okay, so let's go on to the mini dots. Some people like the mini dots. Let's get this back. Um, the vast majority of us, however, like the micro because they are just so easy to load. Okay, got this all covered up. So let's get out the micros or the minis, I should say. And like I said, this box is in much better shape because I have not used this much. So again, <laughs> much bigger roll. Um, let's get out the micros. You can see again how small these are versus the larger minis. If you can, if, 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 there you go. Okay, so they are quite a bit bigger. I typically only use one of these. So where's my other pen that's empty? There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. And again, I scoop it up, roll my pen. You can see there's quite a bit more now sticking out of here because the glue dot is larger. So it takes a little bit more to shove it down in there so that it's not sticking out of the pen, but not bad. And uh, so your mini dots, your roll of minis, will probably last longer than the micro, because the micro use three minis, I use one. So let's see how this works. Again, it's probably too sticky at this point, although it probably did pick up some oils from my hand when I push it in. Now the reason I like to use my fingers to do this versus the tweezers. But again, you can dab it on your, just dab it on your shirt a few times. Let's try this one then. I'm gonna have a number of pins loaded up and ready to go. <laughs> All right, so picks up really good. Yep, all ready to go. So again, little bit, not, you know, not a lot. Just takes maybe 30 seconds longer um, to get it into your drill pin tip, but works exactly the same. Now there are tons of different glue dot products out there. If you uh, just do a search for glue dots on Amazon, yeah, you're going to see tons of stuff out there. And it's because these typically are used by other crafters, like maybe scrapbookers, card makers, things like that. Um, I will leave links to both the micro and the mini. Um, I got mine from Amazon. I'm sure they are in the craft stores. I heard they're um, possibly at Walmart. I don't know about stores like Target or overseas. I'm sure whatever craft stores you have over there, these would be in there too. I just, of course, get everything from Amazon. And Amazon may be a little bit cheaper than, say, Hobby Lobby or Michaels or if they have them at Joann's. But, yeah, you can see how easy this works. And when you touch the drill in your tray, you barely have to touch it. This works for all types of drills, rounds, squares, rhinestones. ABs, special drills, 
all of the above. Your AB drills though, however, I don't know if I stated it in this video. I know I mentioned it and I think that was in the diamond painting and chat video. <laughs> if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. Um, AB drills, however, you may not want to use a freshly filled drill pen with micro dots because it may be too sticky for the AB drills and then it may remove that AB coating, that special coating that's on the top of the AB drill and it will no longer be real iridescent and shiny. That extra sparkle that they have on the AB drills. So if you have one, say, that you've been using for a while, I would suggest using that for your AB drills. Um, but you can use this for your AB drills also. Now as you use this, again, the glue dot's probably going to shift a little bit and you may get an edge that's newer and therefore real sticky again. So I just periodically, again, dab it on my shirt and you're good to go. So isn't that simple? And to me, it's easier loading this than actually using the pink wax. Now, how do you use the pink wax? I gotta see if I have an empty one anymore. I don't think so. No, I don't. Um, but the toolkit, again, if you're a beginner, and I, I, I'm gonna have a video out in the near future of uh, Diamond painting for the absolute beginner. So this toolkit that you get with every single diamond painting you buy, you typically get this. Don't always get the tweezers. Now these are just the cheaper plastic tweezers that I don't really care for. Um, but if you have the pink drill pin and you get the wax, Typically what I do, you, you have to peel back the plastic and then you just stab and twist it around and you have wax in there. And it works the exact same as the glue dots, but you have to replace this much, much more often. It does not retain its stickiness uh, near as much. Not only that, you do leave some wax here and there on your diamond painting. And that's why for the people that use the wax, when they are done with their diamond painting, you typically want to go over it with a roller, especially the squares, because it's going to pop in a lot of those square drills that aren't all snapped in tight together. Um, a lot of people will go over their canvas with a toothbrush then and they're going to get all those little bits and pieces of wax out of there. With the glue dots, you have no residue at all that's going down on your diamond painting. So that's another plus, big plus <laughs> to the glue dots. You're not going to have that residue. Now with rounds, will you have some pet hair or <laughs> things like that? If you have pets, Mm, there's a possibility because the rounds don't fit real snug together. So you do have a little bit of sticky glue um, around the outside. Uh, so yeah, you can possibly get pet hair in there. I really have not had a problem with that. And I have two cats and a dog. So, um, but again, you might want to go over it with a toothbrush. But yeah, if you're just starting out, this toolkit that you get, as you can see, is all you need. Some toolkits will come with a squishy, which makes the drill pin a little more comfortable because these are very narrow. They're very small. Um, you drill with this long enough, you may get cramping <laughs> or soreness in your fingers. And that's why I like these drill pins. Now, this is a wider one. You can get them 
narrow. You can get them with different number of bumps. I typically like the three bump. So we have three in here because this one down here is just perfect for your fingers. And it is wider around the circumference is bigger. So it's easier on your hands. And you can get these very expensive on Amazon. They definitely have more expensive versions over on Etsy. <laughs> yeah, very expensive. But again, starting out, this is all you need. Just use this. If you're not sure if diamond painting is for you, don't spend your money going out and buying other accessories. The only thing I would suggest possibly getting let me close this so I don't spill those, would be some type of storage kit. Um, I just recently got this one on Amazon. Um, I'll link what I can down below in the description. The glue dots, I'll link this. Um, I really, really like this one. If you have problems with arthritis and you have a hard time opening some of the containers, these are so nice. All you do is squish them and it opens. Matter of fact, they're hard to open from the front. All you do is squish it. <laughs> so yeah they open so nice I am really loving this and like I said I just got it decided to kit up this wreath in here um, to try it out and yeah I'm loving it so I'll link this down below too I'll link the couple of uh, drill pens that I did purchase on Amazon one that is quite different is this metal one there is a round tip on one end. I do have glot, uh, glots, glue dots loaded in each end. One is a square tip. One is a round tip. You do not need a square tip for the square drills, however. Um, that's kind of a fallacy out there. Your standard round tip will work for any drill. Whether it's round, square, rhinestone, special drill, whatever. Um, the round works for everything. Um, but the square, I think, I can't remember for sure, but I do think that I did have to put an extra glue dot in there because um, it seemed like a little bit of a bigger tip. Uh, but I'll link this down below too. If you like a drill pin that has a little bit more weight to it, this is a little bit heavier than the acrylic drill pins. Um, again, it is tapered in, so this is very comfortable to use. So yeah, I'll link, like I said, down in the description what I can. You know, there are all kinds of drill trays, specialty, you know, drill trays. My favorite are still <laughs> these with the longer spout on them. Some kits actually provide these. Love them. Um, my favorite is the larger version. I can shake my drills a little bit more. Of course, you can fit more in there. I have a tendency when I shake with this one, it does not have real high sides on it. Sometimes you might shake some over the edge. So yeah, the large tray has higher edge than these. I did purchase this small one off of Etsy. Um, and it does have a higher side to it. So I do like this one. The spout isn't quite as long, but it still pours out of here really, really nice. So, you know, sometimes I go with this. It all depends upon my mood. And I know those that collect a lot of trays, yeah, they it depends upon your mood. And sometimes they just want to match it to their diamond painting. <laughs> Same with the drill pins. All right, that's getting totally off topic, isn't it? All right, so, yep, that is how you use the glue dots. Like I said, very easy, very simple to load. Biggest thing is, it is going to be super duper sticky uh, starting out. So you have to dirty them up, whether, again, it's lotion, whether it is your shirt, your pants, um, you know, whatever. Some people actually... 
If you have release papers, there's like a waxy coating on that release paper so that it doesn't stick to the canvas. Some people rub it on the, that paper, you know, to take a little bit of the sticky enough, stickiness away. So whatever works for you. If you're an individual that does put lotion on your hands, that might be a real good way of getting that real stickiness off. If your glue dots eventually stop sticking, you can take the pointy tweezers or a paper clip um, and just kind of dig in there a little bit and finagle it so maybe the opposite end is sticking up. I just kind of scoop around in there for a little bit, push it back down in, and you're going to have a sticky edge sticking up again. So um, one thing, if you do buy the stainless steel tips, however, and that's not one... Um, especially the forever tips that are quite expensive. Don't dig in here with anything metal. Um, they do suggest using a toothpick. Uh, you can damage stainless steel tips with something metal, unless you're super careful. Um, but just a word of warning. So I hope this helps those individuals who are wondering how to use these glue dots for diamond painting. And if it did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you have any additional questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.